Hey y'all. Welcome back. So somebody got an entity on their ass, okay? I heard makeshift, make believe, make room. Somebody got an entity on their ass, like for real, trying to destroy them. I heard the big payback. Somebody is getting punished for something, but they're being stopped. Yeah, they're being stopped by an entity. Uh oh, what the hell this shit is? This motherfucker right here shouting. This person didn't feel like they were going to have to pay for trying to copy off you and shit. What I said, this damn copycat energy, fuck hell. Somebody was trying, they, they were trying to get a glimpse into your life, a peek into your life. They wanted to look at things from your view is what I heard, your perspective. Through your mind's eye, like somebody could have literally been trying to tap into your intuition or something or, or something like that. They were trying to see what you see. Hear what you hear, feel what you feel, know what you know. I feel like this person quickly found out that they need to learn how to mind their fucking business. Or this is you. Or somebody is quickly about to see how much God truly does love you. Unconditional love. This is that. I heard booster. So a booster seat could be significant. Or like that a booster Y'all know what I mean. That V word. You dig a rich gym? Somebody cannot sense out the right timing to do something. Y'all make sure y'all get out today and do something fun. Is what I heard. Get outside. Even if it's walking around, like that could be fun. Just walking around, just enjoying the view is what I heard. Just something that's outside of home. Somebody needs to get out. You need to connect with nature or you need to get out. You're going to connect with somebody or something. You may end up seeing somebody that you haven't seen in a while. Somebody named Jonathan or Sequoia. Sequoia. I keep hearing Miranda. Birds I view. So yeah, spirit been watching this person or spirit has been watching you. I don't know why the hell these karmics Keep thinking that they're just going to come in and take your destiny from you or some shit. Like, you really got hoes and niggas convinced that they're about to just come in and just swap lives with you? Like, what the fuck is this? It's heavy as a cult energy here, too, bro. You are protected by the sun, moon, and the stars is what I heard, child. This person is not aware. Delaware is significant. Texas feet hot sauce. Somebody is in Texas. Houston. Frisco. Somebody is in California. I heard Calabasas. Somebody's in California for sure. I heard it's a lot of witches and warlocks in California. It could be three bitches that's witches. What I heard. That's what I heard, y'all. Yeah. And you're turning down some kind of invitation or you need to turn down some kind of invitation. Like somebody may literally invite you to travel to California or something like that, you may turn this shit down or the way that they want you to travel, you may travel a different way or spirit may guide you to travel a different way. Okay, here. Like this, is uh, spirit's giving me this as an example. Thank you, Dad. You may be, uh, somebody may offer to pay for a flight, right? You may say, oh, okay, cool, initially. But then you need to be listening or watching out for some kind of message that you're going to get from my father. Our father, he's going to instruct you to move a different way. He's going to tell you to travel there in a different form. He may say, ride the bus, get on the train. Um, drive or something, I don't know. It's, it's something here about traveling. You could also be changing your travel plans. Like it's an initial move that somebody is making. Somebody's traveling somewhere. And initially you're, you're going to want to go there one way, but the most high is going to um, tell you to move a different way. He's going to tell you to take another mode of transportation. I don't know what that could be about. This could be about something that he sees coming way before you do or something like that. I heard JJ the jet plane. Somebody is also flying Lear jets and shit. 
somebody may be trying to send a jet for you or something like that. Somebody's trying to fly somebody out. So we got cornucopia here, man holding a heart. Yeah, you really got somebody that's into you. This person may already have made this offer to you. Somebody is a model or something. Y'all need to definitely be careful, like especially with somebody that's building a portfolio. I feel like you definitely have what it takes, but these people don't feel like you truly do. Somebody feels like you will um, settle for anything just to get fame or something. I don't feel like you will. It's my name, Jill. It's my last name, Hill. Scott, I, I don't feel like you would just dumb your standards down because you want to be famous from being a model or something. Somebody is tricking someone. Maybe you're going to be guided to take a different form of transportation just simply because you need to watch something. You need to see something. Oh, yeah. That's definitely what this is. Be very careful at this time. Patience, magician in the mirror. Something is a fucking... Yeah. Somebody is setting... Okay. Somebody got an audition or a photo shoot or something. You need to be very careful. You need to scope this place out. You need to scope this motherfucking place out before you get there. Thinking woman. Indecision. I see somebody literally standing here looking around. It's something that God is going to instruct you to do. Your spiritual team is here heavily, period. Our angel Raphael is here. Yin and Yang, the door to healing and personal happiness here. Angel of strength. I'm hearing fool's ball. A fool's ball table is significant. This seems to be somebody's home. Or this is some kind of kickback or something. I don't know what the fuck this is. What else is this? Storm warning. You're being warned. Be very careful about this person. Especially if they wear glasses. Somebody named George. Or Jorge or Jesus or something like that. Carrying connections. Adjacent possibilities. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of doors. But they're locked. They're open, but they're locked. Like, what the fuck is this? Somebody is trying to uh, trap someone. This could be in the spirit, but I feel like this is physically. The sun. It's like this person, they're lying. Somebody is lying to somebody about an opportunity to advance in their career or something like that. This is a dirty motherfucker. Yeah, you're going to walk away. I feel like you're going to grasp the opportunity but when something ain't right, you're going to move around. Like, you're not going to stay here. Like, you're going to make it out of something. And whoever, somebody in this energy is going to free some women or something. I'm seeing motherfuckers being held captive. What in the fuck is this shit? Like, you being invited to whatever the fuck this is. Like I said, there are doors open, but they're truly locked. What I said, you're going to illuminate something. Like, you were meant to go here. To free these other people. Wow. This shit got deep real quick. Yep. Door to value. Somebody in this energy is worth a lot of money. Man holding a coin. I'm, I'm talking about one of these women or men that's being held captive. They're worth a lot of money. Somebody could have even tried to hold this person for a ransom or something in the past. But they were never paid the ransom. I don't feel like because it couldn't be paid. They were instructed not to make the payment or something. I heard witch hunt. It's some kind of search that's going on. But it's like a silent search. What I said, child, it's a silent search and you don't know that you're in the midst of it. Wow. And this could be spiritually as well. Somebody could have been trying to lure you into some kind of trap spiritually. And they don't know that you were there to set many of these souls free or something like that. Yeah, it's something about a com the spiritual community or the physical. It doesn't matter. You are a bounty hunter. Yeah, strategy. You don't even know that you're a, a true bounty hunter. Like you rank very high in the spiritual realm. Our angel met child. I'm telling you, this is a part of your path. Though God gonna have you move in certain ways because you need to see something in order to. See to see it, to hear it, and to do something. What I said, child. 
you're not going to be afraid. You're going to be seriously slay whatever this is. Yeah, somebody is envious as fuck. So I'm seeing somebody reaching out to you or they're trying to conjure up your energy or something. They're trying to lure you in and bite you in spiritually or physically. They're doing this shit because they're trying to, trying to uh, have you stuck. Somebody feels like they set up a trap for you to walk right into, but they don't even know that you are the trap. What I said, child. Walk in your trap and take over your trap. Walk in your trap and take over your trap. Recipe bank roll. That boy said part straight, not crooked. <laughs> part straight, not crooked. There's something significant about the way that somebody parked. Like you, somebody could be parked and you could tell that they were in a rush doing something. They were in a rush getting somewhere or some a, a car may be parked very funny. And it's just going to alert you. Yeah, deep knowing. I know for sure this is not everyone's message. Now, physically, I feel like this is literally one person. But spiritually, this you may be, most of you all are resonating with this. Somebody is spiritually trying to trap you. They're trying to lure you in spiritually, thinking that you're going to level up spiritually by fucking with them or something. But they're trying to lure you in to trap you, to have you stuck. Serendipity. There's a very deceiving ass energy here. Hmm? Or this is your deceptive fucking ass fuck hell. Yeah, your time is up. TikTok reverse. This person is not even poised doing something. Their reputation is even slandered, ruined. Everything that this person is trying to do, they, they, they think that they're striking some kind of gold or something by getting you to participate in something. Like, oh, if I can get if I can get them in my catalog or something like that. But see, they don't even think highly of you. That's what I'm saying. Like these people, but they know you're of high value. These folk right here know you're of high value, spiritually or physically. Okay. I, I feel like I gotta keep saying that because there's somebody in here that's just stupid as fuck that is not understanding what I'm saying. It seems like these motherfuckers know how high ranking you are, but they're still trying to lure you in some kind of way. Like they really don't have no respect for you. Like they really don't believe that, you know, you are worth whatever, but it's like, they're trying to, it seems like somebody trying to trap you so that you won't know your worth or something, or they want to make you worthless. Like somebody wants to depreciate your value. They're, they're trying to get you stuck so that they can use and abuse you. And depreciate your value or something. I mean, but that's not what the fuck is going to happen either. Wow. These some sick ass motherfuckers y'all be dealing with, bro. Somebody truly has this made up in their fucking mind. They have this made up in their mind that this is going to work out or something. And they're just completely fucking wrong. Or you're completely wrong. This is going to backfire on your dumb ass. What else is here? It's a bitch that wants to be a divine feminine or claims to be a divine feminine. She's the one that's setting all of this shit up, this fake ass audition. Yang reverse. I'm seeing somebody being guided to still go somewhere. Like, I feel like somebody's going to catch someone that they're dating cheating. You're going to catch this person cheating or something. Like spirit, you like you may get you may normally drive to meet this person, but spirit might tell you to catch an Uber. What I said, child, exchanging gifts, come to the edge reverse. They're not gonna be able to lure you in. They're not going to be able to. It's because you're being guided by the Holy Spirit. They're not their their goal is to lure you in. I'm feeling it. They're not gonna be able to do it. And you're gonna be happy that you came, is what I heard. It seems like you're meeting somebody else or you're meeting somebody here, but you're not aware that you're meeting somebody here. Chop wood. Somebody in this energy is worth a lot of money. This woman or this man is worth a lot. Like people have been looking for this person. I heard call off the search. We found them. Wow. Mending reverse. Go the distance. Oh, we. Somebody named Angela Torres. Herschel is significant. Herschel, H-E-R-S-C-H-E-L, Herschel. I heard damsel between worlds, soulmates. Yeah, it's like somebody is going to help 
bring a family back together or something here. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, the face. It's a faded event. This person is like, like I said, I saw all of the doors open on that card, but they were locked. It's like something so simple because these people are very invitational. Like they like to invite people to shit, but then try to lock them there. Like once you go, like I heard one way too. So it's like one way, like they trying to, let me fly you out. Let me do this. Somebody is trying to hinder your movement. They don't have a leg up because you're very intuitive and you can see, you see shit before it happens. You already, whoever you are, you already know exactly what this is. Motherfuckers is trying to control and contain your movement. Like, well, if I fly them out, I know for a fact I'm going to be at the airport waiting on them. If they ain't getting no ride or if they, ain't, if they ain't got no Uber, if they ain't got no rental car, they're going to be depending on me to take them places or whatever. You dig a rescue? So, yeah, the most high God is going to make sure you have your own transportation. So somebody is going on a mission. Man, look, time to go. Somebody's going on a mission. And you may not even realize that that's what you're doing. And, and then, too, you don't even have to be going to an audition or anything like that. You could simply be doing something completely different. Like, you can be traveling to do something completely different. And then you're going to end up saving people. Something like that is what I'm picking up here. What else is that? Thank you very much for the messages. That's what I'm truly picking up. Yeah, here and now. Somebody got, somebody got a huge mission here. If things have been thrown off in your energetic field and like you're, you, you're, you don't know what the fuck is going on. I feel like God has been speaking to you in many different ways. You may just not have been paying attention to all of the signs. Something is just a complete lie. Something, somebody's trying to set something up. Yeah. It's something, it's something here that is being blocked. It's being stopped, cut off completely. Yeah, this this illusion is fucking over. Yeah, it's, this is this lie is gonna bring a whole lot of chaos. Yeah, these these motherfuckers is crazy. Somebody's name is Sebastian. Period, bro. Okay, here Franklin. Yeah, this is a faded event. And you you gonna bring a lot of chaos. It's like the way that you gonna move to set these people free. I'm hearing let my people go. The way that you're going to move to set these people free, only the most high God is going to instruct you. You dig a rooster? What I said, because you're loyal and most of all you're obedient, you listen to your guidance. So you definitely you have this major ass calling on your life. It's like time stamped. Every every hour on the hour or something like that. I don't know what the fuck this is. I heard freeway. Look at my dad flying out. Higher power. Something might be right off the highway or some. My way or the highway. Yeah, somebody's very narcissistic in this motherfucking energy. I don't know why the hell I'm picking up on like an audition or something like that. I'm picking up on somebody meeting up with someone. Just period. Yeah, you about to bring a lot of this. I'm telling you, bro. You about to bring chaos and disruption to whatever the fuck this is. These people are going to try to trap you and they're going to end up getting fucked up. And I mean, everything is going to be dismantled simply because they tried it. So somebody's a federal agent. This could be some kind of sting operation is what I'm hearing. This could be a sting operation. Somebody could literally be talking. Let me shut up. What else is here? Either way it goes, you about to shake some shit up. You have a specific mission. This could literally be what you do for work. You dig a rescue? You about to get a lot of recognition for this. And these people ain't gonna see it coming. These some dirty ass motherfuckers. I heard German Shepherd, German chocolate cake, Ishlibadish, material and spiritual prosperity, authority in the reverse. Yeah, their whole shit is about to get brought down. I heard thanks to you, thanks to you listening to your guidance. 
rejoice and celebration. Yeah, somebody is about to be very popular. I'm seeing a bunch of donations. I'm seeing somebody really being set for life just simply off of being in the right place at the right time. Even though it was meant to be something bad, you're doing something good. Wow. I heard animal-like qualities. This person is sick. This, this, it's time for this person to get their shit. This could be some kind of a cult that's being brought the fuck down to. That's what I'm picking up too. I'm truly feeling like that, fam. That's when some kind of fucking occult. Some kind of bullshit ass goddamn occult that's being brought the fuck down, fuck hell. This this man right here uh takes advantage of women and men. I heard you would be shocked to know who this is. They were trying to lure you in for sure. They're not gonna be victorious at whatever the fuck this is. This shit is being brought the fuck down. I heard layer by layer. Somebody loves onions or hates them. You could literally love onions. Like you have to have onions. It's something about onions. You either really hate them or you love them. Something like that. What else is here? It's a lot of families coming together. Choose wisely. It's like something like you're going to have to do something very quickly. Somebody really believes that they're setting you up. And most of this is in the spirit. Because that's definitely not everybody's story. That you're going to free some people. That's not everybody's story. But whoever you are, this is this occult. They may be trying to take on the persona of a past on loved one that you trust and love very dearly here. And they're trying to uh, tap into your energy using the energy of your past on loved one. These some snake ass slime motherfuckers right here. These some slimy ass individuals, period, child. That's the damn truth or is what Spirit said. These some slime ass motherfuckers right here, bro, that y'all dealing with. Crown chakra in the reverse. It's like they want you to be completely blinded from this attack. Because of some kind of spiritual union here that you're also going to be recognized for. These people are in mental conflict. They have no clarity to why it's you that have these gifts or why God chose you to, I heard, lead the flock. So, yeah, put on your spiritual armor. Mm, 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 mm. These people are not understanding who you truly are. It's like they've been shown who you are over and over again, but they're trying to lessen your value by getting you in some kind of predicament to use and abuse you. They want to beat you up so bad to where you're unrecognizable to yourself. These people have no love, but God is he's going to come in and save you right on time or something. But it's like you need to be here. I heard this is risky. You need like you need to be here in order for these people to get their shit. Because this whole you're going to bring down a whole coven. Like you're going to bring a whole coven down or you're bringing down a whole operation. Some kind of sting with some kind of ring of uh, prostitution or something like that. Well, I heard trafficking. Yeah, I cannot bring this. Man, it's, I'm telling you, Shawty. It's something about flying saucers. Or uh, somebody might have broke a saucer. You know, them little plates, not the big plate. Well, obviously, they're all plates, but the little small ones. Don't they call those saucers? Wow, whoever you are, bro, this is a really big mission. And it's like you're in the shit and you don't even find it to be that difficult because it's just like, well, what the fuck is going on? Seems like something just happens abruptly. We like you're put in this situation abruptly or something. And it's like you're you're living off of your instinct or there's a need to go with your instinct. Yeah. 
here. Let me just get one card because I'm not going to give too much information about this. You need to um, be listening to your guidance at this time. You definitely are being lured into a trap. But the, the thing of all of this is you are the trap. These people have been working on this for a very long time. Could be something surrounding this new moon or something like that. Just, just, just this new energy entirely in its entirety. You dig a rescue, fam, masculine? Yeah. The seven of wands. You are about the, whoever this is, where you are defending your honor. You're defending something. Somebody named Benjamin. You're defending something. And it's like this person. Yeah. This, like you're bringing justice. This, this, it's a, it's a specific woman or a man. They're worth a lot. They may have been even holding this person hostage on purpose to torture them or some shit. And somehow or another, it's you that's going to free them. Man, I cannot make this up. The world card, ace of cups, four of cups. The five of damn pentacles. Everything is fine with the eight of cups. Bruh, this person right here has been through hell. But everything is fine because you're going to free them. Wow. A freezer is significant. You could have just bought a whole bunch of ice cream or uh, freeze pops for your kids or something like that. Look, the five of wands, four of swords, and the five of swords. This person is defeated. This whole occult is defeated, spiritually or physically. I don't give a fuck, okay? But I feel like they got this person locked away somewhere. Somebody is locked away, and you're going to free them. But you don't even understand that this person is worth a whole lot of money. Like somebody did this shit on purpose. Six of Wands telling you they they were holding this person hostage on purpose. Six of Pentacles. You don't even see how this is about to elevate you. I'm hearing that song No More Parties by Corla Ray. Yeah. It's like God is going to have you quickly change your mode of transportation. There's the chariot. The Nine of Swords. Somebody's mother is so fucking stressed out, worried about their son or their daughter. And you're going to free them, Victoria, Vivian. This is going to put you, uh, put you at a nine of pentacles. I don't feel like you're doing something for money because you don't even know that this is what you're walking into. And spiritually, whatever is happening spiritually is happening physically anyway. You dig a issue? But for a lot of y'all, this is a spiritual trap. These are some spiritual motherfucking um, entities and shit or whatever the fuck. Hoes and niggas. Think they're going to trap you spiritually here. They're trying to tend the swords this goddamn high priestess with this devil energy. Yeah. It's not going to work like that. So somebody definitely is standing their ground with this seven of wands. Whatever is hidden under the moon, oh, trust me, it's coming to the light. And all of these, like you're setting souls free. But it's a specific person that I'm talking to. Somebody named Nasia or something like that. Deja. Cajun is significant. Jerk chicken. Somebody loves spicy food or seasoning or something like that. Okay. I'm going to leave it right here, fam. Remember that God loves you and so do I.